my life, and I, I, I love to expose the Word, and I love digging deep into the Word. I'm teaching through Romans this summer, and just the first song reminded me where I'll be this Wednesday in Romans 6, and it's such a good thing to go, go, to go deep in God's Word, as I know you do every week, and I'm excited for you to hear the message you're about to hear from Pastor Mark. Brother, you blessed me in the first service. Thank you. you spoke to me about my faith, and I appreciate it. And that digging deep is a, a tremendous opportunity for us. And at Walkthrough, we kind of come alongside of that particular type of ministry, and we go wide. You go deep weekly. Now we're going to go wide this afternoon. Uh, we call it ski, uh, water skiing, not scuba diving. And so in five hours, what we'll do is we'll walk through the major people, places, and events of the Old Testament, there are 77 major people, places, and events that basically tell that story. And that's a ton of information, right? Uh, I, can, I can see somebody's eyes crossing, and they hear five hours. Wow, that's just incredible. So we've tried to do some things that, that bring energy and will hopefully just get you engaged in the storyline. So what I'm going to ask you to do is kind of stand up with me. I want to give you some kind of idea of what you can expect this afternoon, because I'm sure there's somebody here that's kind of heard about walkthrough, but but you just don't know. You know, I'm, I'm not sure about this five-hour bit, and I just don't know about what to expect. So let me do what we do in the country of North Carolina, and that is prime the pump. Anybody relate to that term, prime the pump? Put a little water in to get water out. So I'm just going to give you some little idea of how we're going to handle the day. I want you to imagine yourself at Myrtle, is it Myrtle Beach where you guys go? South Carolina Beach, somewhere along those lines. A waterway, wherever you choose. And I want you to think about being there, uh, say, usually about July. It's kind of hot no normally at the beach, a little cooler these days. But think about a 95-plus Southern California, Matthew. How about that? Think about some sunny beach somewhere, and you've been on the beach for hours. And, man, you're hot. So you want to cool off, you get up, you get up, go walk in the water, you walk into about waist deep. Now I come along with a beach ball, and I'm going to toss it to you, and your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to catch that ball and to rest it on the water. It's going to be a miraculous multiplication of one ball to everybody here. So just on three, I want you to grab the ball, hold it up, and then set it down on the water. Are you ready? Yeah. Very good. One, two, three. Three, good, good. Somebody drop one back there. You go grab that one, please. No, just kidding. Okay, with the ball here, just rest it on the water, and then run your hand around the ball to where you pinned the ball between your hands and the water. Everybody got that? Everybody with me? Say yes. All right, good, good. Now brace yourself and push the ball under the water. All oh, the buoyancy in the ball tires your hands out, so the ball pops up. Your hands are wet, the ball's wet, so the ball goes away. Four motions. Let's do them again. Around, down, up, and out. Do that one more time to say the words with me. Around, down, up, and out. Give yourself a hand. Very good. Okay, have a seat. Now, you may be wondering, what in the world does a beach ball have to do with the Old Testament? Anybody? Anybody? I know somebody's got to be wondering. Yes, thank, thank you. Yeah, the, the, the short answer is absolutely nothing. <laughs> it, it is nothing to do with the Old Testament. However, I'm probably not the New Testament either. But what I did that for was two reasons. One is those are the motions that you'll learn this afternoon, those four, that comprise the first 2,000 years of Bible history. I'll give you the first one, creation. Well, you try to figure out the other three and then come this afternoon. So that's the first reason. That's what we'll do. You'll be saying words, creation, and then the next one. And, and I'll be telling the story, connecting the dots of the big picture of God's word as we chronologically work our way through the big picture of God's word of the Old Testament. The second reason that I did that is just so that you will see that this is a different kind of experience. It's an interaction. It's an involvement. It is you're getting up and moving and doing uh, hand motions. They're, com they're very effective kinetic tools. It's something we use every day. 
What's that? Holding. That's right. What about this? Time out. What about... That's still second, right? I mean, we use, we use our hands in every walk of life. Well, this afternoon, we're going to use our hands to, to remember God's Word. And, and the reason, I want to leave you with a, just one example of how the history, and that's what we'll be talking through, the 17 books of history, how the history matters. I want to read a verse that you might be familiar with. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Anybody recognize that verse? What is it? Jeremiah 29, 11. Very good. It's a great promise, isn't it? You know, uh, we, if we're not careful, kind of think that that's a really good verse when everything's going well. But the history... You see, this is where the history makes such a difference. The history was, this afternoon you'll see where the, the children of Israel have rebelled over and over again. And God, true to his word, took them out of the promised land and took them to a place called Babylonia. And there they were there for 70 years. Well, as soon as the defeated people group got there, God said to a prophet named Jeremiah, I want you to write a letter. And, and I want you to tell them that, yeah, it looks bad now, but, but I know... The plans that I have for you. Jeremiah 29 is actually part of a letter that God sent to the disposed to part, the displaced people group in Babylonia saying, yeah, it's the worst thing you've ever seen. I mean, they had just experienced their homeland devastated. They had just experienced, surely, loved ones that they knew that were brutally murdered. They were in a foreign place, never understood the culture, didn't know the language, didn't know anything about what was going to happen to them in the future. And, and can you imagine the life that God gave them through Jeremiah's letter? I know the plans that I have for you. History matters in understanding God's word. I, I sure hope that you'll be able to come and be here with us this afternoon. Because maybe somebody here, this is your darkest time. Maybe you're facing something that you don't know how you're going to make it. Maybe it's a different place, different culture, different experience, and, and, and God's Spirit will whisper to you, I know the plans that I have for you, because God's story really is ours, isn't it? Love to see you this afternoon. Thank you.